kind of same style, maybe adding something to it, maybe subtracting something. But they're alive, and the music is alive. And here's a chap that I knew him when he was studying with a fellow that I have found memories of, the great, the one and only Sidney Bache. Well, this was his pupil. And now he also is with the Crosby Gang, and I'd like you to meet Bob Wilbur. <laughs> and they all dropped in to say hello to Bud and us. Bud, what do, what do we have coming up next? Well, we have a... You took advantage of me. Good.
We have the nicest audience here at Jazz Alley. I really appreciate it. You hardly get this kind anymore. <laughs> Especially in nightclubs. <laughs> and this, this is what makes musicians want to play and play more and more. We have a slow tune that I've asked Bud to do just so you can hear another image of his inside. Bud Freeman doing diamond. Time just doesn't permit us to mention all the things we would like to mention so that you would know this man and all the things that he's done and the people he's played with. Paul Whiteman, Ray Noble, uh, Benny Goodman. You just can bandy names on and on and Bud's been in those scenes and he's played in those bags as they say in music language. <laughs> but now we'd like to take off on a little tune that moves quite a bit. It's one that we associate with Duke Ellington. It's called Three little words. Mm -hmm. 